Hello and in this video I'm briefly going to explain how to access the e-learning resources on the Paolo Project Training website. So the first thing that will happen is, is once we've set you up on the learning management system you get an email from us, it'll look like this. Um, <clears throat> and the first thing to notice is your username, so that'll be the, the username that you use to log into your website. And we'll also confirm your email address. Um, this is different from your username. This is the, the email address that the, the website will send all the messages to. Um, if you registered on the website previously, maybe you've purchased uh, the e-learning or study guide, then we use the login uh, password that you used when you completed that purchase. However, if you've registered on a public course or you um, are a corporate client, then we'll default your password to student here. Um, don't worry if you forget your password, you can reset it here using your username. So if we now want to open the, the e-learning, it's worthwhile checking before we do that that we've got the latest versions of Java software and Adobe Flash software installed on your, your machine. And there are full instructions on how to use the website here. So if we control click on this link, it'll then open up that website in um, your preferred browser. So if we now pop down to um, the browser, you can see that it's, um, it's now open. But we, we can't actually see the course material yet because we, we've not logged in. So the next thing we have to do is log in. So I'm just going to log in here with a, a default account and password. And if you tick this little box here, It'll remember that login and uh, you won't need to log in again. The site will remember your, your details using something called cookies, which you may have to enable in your, your web browser. Um, for more advice on how to enable cookies, it um, depends on which web browser you use, but, but Google's got lots of advice on that. Um, if you've forgotten your username or password, you can, you can get those reset here by following these links. So we now log in. So, <clears throat> so now you can see that the, all the course material has now appeared. If we scroll down, you can see all the, the um, e-learning material that we need has appeared on the screen. So there's different types of e-learning material here. There's a sort of mechanical wheel type thing here, and that's an e-learning module. There's PDF documents. Then there's links out to the study group and links out to... Um, a podcast and a sample exam questions that you can download. So to, to run the e-learning you, you click on this first link here. And that'll take you to a page that that load up the, the first e-learning module. And um, if you have cookies enabled like we discussed earlier it will remember where you got to in the course and you can continue where you left off. But let's say no here and just go through the course from the beginning. So um, you can browse around this as you wish, um, we can pause the music if you wish, and um, you can just jump to the parts of the, the course that you want to do. So, um, so this is, um, you can go to any part of this, and what I recommend is you use this to support your uh, learning. And um, you can say maybe look at um, different types, hints and tips. The for the exam, etc, etc, etc. So there's no need to do all of this. You can do the parts of the course uh, online that you that you need to do. So when you finish the, using the e-learning, um, you can just go back using the back button, but there'll be no record of what you've completed. The, the, the correct way of doing it is actually to click on this course home button here, and that'll take the progress information out of the e-learning and update your progress bar here um, so those are all the e-learning modules and these are all the podcasts um, so we'll, we'll come to the podcasts in a minute but you can play those podcasts um, directly here so to play the podcast you can just click on this link here and the podcast will open up and it'll take a few moments for that to connect to our podcast streaming site and it'll play immediately Okay, so that's the podcast playing in, in the browser. Um, there are a couple of other options for ways to um, 
access the podcast or save the podcast. One thing that's useful is if you right click and do save as, then you can actually save the podcast to uh, an MP3 device or a CD so that you can listen to them in the car or, or when you're traveling. Um, but I'll show you a different way of doing that slightly more conveniently uh, later on. So that's that's all the e-learning. Um, the next bit is, is um, let's talk about the podcast in a little bit more detail. So as well as putting the podcast in the learning package, we've also put a link here. So you want to go to the sixth edition um, podcasts. So you can get them direct off the website without, without actually logging in. And so you can listen to those podcasts here. If you click this Listen Now link, that will help you to listen to them. But you can also um, <clears throat> access the podcast through iTunes. So if you have a, an iMac or an iPhone or an iPad, then if you uh, click on this link here, it will, it will open up the podcast app and download those uh, podcasts to your um, podcast app automatically. Alternatively, if you open the podcast app in on the iPhone, iPad, iMac, then search for APM Project Management Podcasts, you'll find them that way. If you have an Android device, um, fairly simple, you can um, download, you need to download one of the podcast apps from the Google Store, and then you need to point that podcast app at one of these links, either by cutting it and pasting it in, or by clicking on this link here. And that'll download all the, all the podcasts direct to your Android device. Again, with these links, you can do right-click and save as. So that means you can save those as a as a as an MP3 file um, on a CD or anything to listen to in the car. So that's how to access the podcasts. And the final thing you need to get access to is the study group. So if we go back to the distance learning menu and study group here. The study group is a sort of interactive group with, with several hundred people who are, who are project managers who are studying for the APMP. Uh, and the first thing you need to do is to actually join the group because it's a social media thing. Um, <clears throat> you need to, to, to sort of, sort of sign up to the group. So that's quite easy. You just click this button here that says join group. And, and that will, in a moment, actually come back with a, a slightly different menu that says you've now joined the group just doing a bit of work to do that. Okay, so um, you can see there are 789 members, but the most useful bit is the discussions. And in the discussions, you will find um, about 178 sets of exam answers and exam questions. So for instance, you can just scroll down these. Um, so you can look at the work done by others and also do some of the questions they've done. So here's a, here's a post by Henry, I think. So what Henry's done is he's done the book and he's posted some, he's tried some of the answers in the book. He's typed his answers in here. Um, <clears throat> and then we've given them feedback. So if you want to have a go at that, then that's quite an easy thing to do. Um, so we just go back to discussions. So you can browse through the answers done by other people. Um, you can also put your own answers in. So if you want to create your own discussion, you click on this link here. And what I suggest is you put the, the exam question in the title here. So um, difference between um, projects and business as usual. and then you put the your answer in here. Uh, you can use some of these formatting tools, but basically just type your answer in here. Um, the difference is um, so you can type it in Word and then paste it in. Formatting goes a bit horrible, or you can just type it in here directly. And, and once you come down to the end, you just add discussion here which I'm not going to do because it's not complete. And then we get a message and depending on how busy you are, we can, we will, we will moderate that within a couple of days. Um, so that's basically it really. So I've shown you how to access the, yeah, I want to leave that page. I'm not going to post that. How to access the e-learning, how to access the podcasts and how to access the study group. So if you don't have any questions, please do get in touch and thank you very much.